Is it finally happening? If it wasn't for Tony, Tony, oh. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a really interesting video and this is like a, a what if, you know what I'm saying? Because if you didn't know, I posted this on my community tab. If you haven't checked Aliyah's social medias, but her estate announced that it's in the talks of her music finally being released on streaming platforms, i.e. Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, things like that, right? Tidal, all of that, right? But here's the thing, and this was announced on August 25th. You know, August 25th is the anniversary. That's where a lot of Aaliyah things get announced. Unreleased pics, unreleased footage, you know, different announcements, things that's going to happen with her legacy, her image, things like that, right? But the thing about it is, I first found out about this when I was scrolling on Twitter. And at first, I got to admit, I was excited. If you've been an OG Aaliyah fan, you know how it is when things get announced. Until I actually see it, that's when I'm going to believe it, right? Because it's like, it got announced. But then, I'm like, okay, let's see how long this is going to take, right? Because, mind you, it got announced August 25th. It's been about two weeks since the announcement. And I'm not expecting them to be like, okay, uh, in October, oh, here's Aaliyah's music, you know? But we know the process with Aaliyah's music and the legal rights and all of that is a big headache. It's a big wind. It's a storm. It's a, it's a hurricane. It's a tropical storm. It's a tornado. It's a mess. Basically, it's a mess. So I'm not expecting Barry Hankerson to come on camera out of nowhere and be like, here's Aaliyah's music. You know, it's, it's not going to be that easy. <laughs> it's not going to be that easy. But my thing is, when they say, oh, we're in the talks, what does that mean? And when I posted it, a lot of other Aliyah fans had the same questions like, what does that mean? That can mean an email was sent to whoever, but did they reply back? That can mean a text was sent. That can mean a phone call was made. Is Barry Hankerson even involved in this? You know what I'm saying? Has there been some legal documents drawn up? Who knows? That's that's the big question mark. Because it's like, you got to realize, Aliyah's musical legacy and the uh, estate and all that her estate which is you know Rashad her brother is like one of the main runners of it right he's more focused on the image he's more involved in the image t-shirts perfume Aaliyah for Mac Aaliyah wax figure Aaliyah Hollywood Walk of Fame star hopefully he never really talks about her music or the legal situation with it. He's kind of hush hush on that. So it makes you wonder, it's like, man, I mean, we know how it is. And then it's like the uncle, and then is, does Aaliyah's mother know about this? Or, you know, it's just a big mess. So, like I said, I don't want to kill nobody else's excitement, but we're all on the same page where it's like, I, okay, we got to see it to believe it. Like, they announced Aaliyah for Mac, they announced Aaliyah's wax figure, right? But it wasn't until I was scrolling, I seen the wax figure. I'm like, oh, okay, they really did it. I seen Aaliyah for Mac, I seen it in stores. I went to my Macy's, my local Macy's in store in person just to see it. I'm like, oh, this is really, this really happened. Like they really got this out here. Like, okay, you know, we making steps, we making progress. But it's like, it's not until I log on to my Spotify, I click my Spotify app and I see Aaliyah's other albums besides AJ Nothing But A Number, that's when it's gonna hit me like, damn, we really did it. They really did it, you know? Like all this, all these years, over 12 years fighting for her music to be released. I'm like, we really did it. Because you think about it, look at this. Look at this. The only album from Aaliyah is AJ Nothing But A Number. Let me see, there you go. AJ nothing but a number. That's the only album that's on here, right? And then you look at two of the other songs like Are You That Somebody? I Don't Wanna. I'm looking at it right now. I Don't Wanna is from Next Friday soundtrack. We Need a Resolution is from some random soundtrack. Are You That Somebody is from an Annabelle fan made soundtrack. It's like, why is Are You That Somebody from an Annabelle soundtrack? Hold on, look at this. 
Why is Aaliyah's Are You That Somebody from a random Annabelle fan made soundtrack? That's crazy. It's supposed to, you know, it's, it's crazy how Aaliyah's music is treated. It's crazy how we can't just, I want to hear Rock the Boat. I can go on Spotify and listen to it. No, I got to go on YouTube. And most Aaliyah fans have the CDs ripped. They have the physical CDs. They have the records. They have the cassettes. They have the vinyls, vinyls, however you say it. They have that, right? But it's like in today's generation, we got to be honest. I always say this because a lot of us, <laughs> a lot of us are like in our 20s and older, in our 30s and older. We grew up with Aaliyah. We have the that we have the classic way of getting music, right? But in today's generation, for Lee's music and legacy to live on and on, her stuff has to be on streaming services. And YouTube is a big streaming service. Let's not get it twisted, but Spotify, iTunes, all of that, that's a major part of it. And that's what counts towards her sales and streams. Who, who knows the last time Aliyah's streams and sales have been updated? Who knows if they can even track it? Right when it finally gets released, can they even track it? Like, who is it going to go to? Black Ground is defunct. Who knows if they still have a thing with Virgin Records or if Virgin Records is still keeping track? Who knows? It's not only Aliyah's music; it's other music like you know some Timberland albums and JoJo and Tink and Tony Braxton. And there's a lot of different albums from that defunct label that's just you know it's up in limbo. It's you know it's like a mm, I don't know you know it's just it's crazy. So my thing is, with this announcement of Aliyah's music potentially being released in, in the talks, what do y'all think that means? And what do you think that means for the future? Like, do y'all believe it? Are y'all really trusting it? Or is it just a, okay, I'm not going to believe it until I go on Spotify and I see one in a million. I can listen to Choosy Lover. I can listen to Heartbroken. I can listen to Hot Like Fire Remix. I can listen to Rock the Boat. I can listen to More Than a Woman without it being from some random fan-made soundtrack. Because I'm telling you, if we make it to next summer and there hasn't been no release or announcement or further details about Aliyah's music, and I go on Spotify and it's still AJ Nothing But A Number is the only album, they could just hang it up. Hang it up, flat screen. That's where I'm at with it right now. Because we can talk and we can be excited and yeah, that don't mean nothing. The day I see it on Spotify, the day people posting it on, um, the day I see Aliyah's albums charting on iTunes, that's when I'm like, I'm like, we did it. We did it. Round of applause, like, it's finally happening. And just a side note, when Aliyah's music does get released, just know it's going to top the charts. Like, you know, people talk about this, people talk about that, but this is going to be a real wake-up call for a lot of the haters that say, oh, uh, okay, we could talk about Ali all day, but watch, when that albums, when them albums get released, she's going to take the top spots on the iTunes charts, whether it's the R&B, the main charts, whatever. She's going to be trending, it's going to be a big thing, because remember, a few years ago, her Ultimate Ali album got leaked by some fake page or some fake user upload or whatever and her thing went all the way to number one her thing was past J. Cole her thing was past Bruno Mars like she topped all of them and that little bit of time it was released so imagine if one in a million gets released the album imagine if Ali self title gets released imagine if I care for you gets released I'm gonna let the downloads and the charts on iTunes do the talking I can only say so much but when it gets released just know it's gonna show you better than I could tell you. That's all I got to say. Now, where are y'all at with it? Like, are y'all really believing it? Are y'all feeling it? Or are y'all just like, show me better than you could tell me? Right? Let me know down below in the comments. Let's get the discussion going. This should be a really thought provoking discussion. This should be, I wanna feel y'all thoughts and feelings, and I wanna, you know, I'm a, you know, I know, I reply back to all of y'all. I just wanna see where y'all at with this. Because it's like, it's almost like a game at this point. Like, I mean, I don't think they would make the announcement for nothing. But at this point in 2020, leading into 2021, y'all got to show us better than y'all can tell us. So just let me know down below. Thanks for watching and listening. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.
and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video.